What's going on guys? My name is Josh Rodriguez and today I'm going to talk to you guys how to make six figures at 25 years old doing lawn care. And um, I'll tell you guys that the process to get to this point is not easy. There were times where I wanted to quit, times that were very hard both mentally and physically. And so I want to share a little bit of, uh, a little bit of background um, that helped me reach this point of my business career and maybe can help you too. Um, so now I have a few key points here on my laptop that I'm going to talk about and the one, the first thing that I have in place and I'm sure you heard about it and it's very cliche, it's having systems in place and that's key to any business, right? Or even in your personal life and habits or anything like that. Having systems will make your operations run smoothly, will have you less um, stressed and honestly like being awake at night or worrying about wait, did I either charge this client or did I invoice this client? Did I schedule this client or this project? Like, you don't know what's going on, right? Your head is spinning around in 10 million different spa uh, places. You have so much going on, you have no time to focus. And I think having just systems in place, even to how to answer phone calls, how to like capture uh, potential clients or leads, their name, their number, and, and what day can you um, go give them a quote? Because let's just say Monday through Friday, you're super busy, you're on the field working, and the only day you do have is Saturday. Or are you gonna do it in the afternoons or in weekdays? Like, all of that, you have to figure out, you have to sit down and figure out what can I do to make this process of estimating or any other things that I gotta do, how to make it easier. So that, that would be um, one of the first things I would say is step number one. And of course, like systems can be anything. It could be my morning routine. When I wake up, what do I have to do to have a productive day? And really where it starts is the day before, the night before, right? Even a morning routine for us, right? We do lawn care, right? So what do we have to do in the morning for us to have a productive day at work? What time do we have to be there that guys show up? What time do the crews have to be leaving? Um, when we hand out the route sheets, what do they know what they're doing in specific houses? Every customer is different, right? Do they know what they're doing at each location? Um, when they have to put gas, do you have a, a gas uh, station in place at your shop? Do you have to go get gas? Do you go get gas at night so, or later in the day so there's not much traffic in the morning because we all know in the morning everybody's getting gas. You're waiting 10 minutes, you're wasting time. What are the systems you're putting in place so you can have a smoother operation and maximize your profits? And that's what we're gonna talk about today, right? And obviously systems is key for everything. Create a system for everything. Number two, right? Customer service, right? Having your customer service on autopilot I think is very important. Why is that? Because I hear it all the time, right? Um, when either their local lawn care service guy or if, if they're not answering their phone, if there's no clear communication between them, they don't know what's going on, or even email. You know, people sometimes put those requests via Facebook. If you have a Facebook page or a, or a website, if you're not answering back um, within a certain amount of time, they're gonna move on, right? They don't know you, but you already left a bad like taste in their mouth. Why? Because let's just say you do perform the best where you're the best out there, but if, you're, if your first impression is not to respond back to your client or your potential client, and they already like think, ah, oh, he must not perform well, he, he probably just doesn't care. Even if you are busy, having someone, or maybe yourself, right, responding back i think it's very very important because let's be real in the service-based business we usually or people have this assumption that we're just kind of doing it on the whim we don't really care we're in a, like we're we're dirty in a truck and like let's be real it is a dirty job right but let's bring a little bit more professionalism to that right let's let's be more responsive let's be a little bit more professional right even if we are just cutting grass as you know customers would say right but let's just bring that level of uh, performance and that level of customer service to the next level, right? And I think that would distinguish you from your other Joe Schmoes out there cutting grass. So customer service, I think, is one of the most important things that you have to put on autopilot, whether it be someone you hire someone to answer your phone calls, to um, answer your emails, or any complaints that you might be having, addressing them as quick as possible. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I have someone in-house that does that for me, but. I think there's call centers that you could pay and, and every phone call they charge you by the minute or, or something like that, I'm not too sure. Um, but you can probably use um, on them or if, you're, if you want to do it on your own, um, I would just say have 
maybe some Bluetooth, if you hear the phone ringing, maybe you have two separate phones, right? You have your personal one, and then you have your business phone. And then um, when they call, try to you know call them back as soon as possible. Maybe after you're done with your your uh, property, you go in the car and, and answer emails or, or phone calls that left you a voicemail. Um, so it's really up to you and your size of operation and what you want to do. The other thing is pricing correctly. Now, I made the mistake when I first started out, I would underbid a lot. But now that my operation has grown and is when we're becoming bigger, I have to charge more. My overhead's higher. I have more trucks. I have the fuels expensive, and um, I have more um, my my employees. Right? I want to pay them a fair wage, and so I obviously have to. You know, my prices have to go up or increase. Now, a lot of the customers don't see that. Right? They just think you're just cutting grass and that's it. But they don't see what's behind. You know, closed doors. What's behind in your office? Are you paying an office staff? Also your salary, right? How much are you making? As well as like you have to have money left over for your business for, you know, just in case you hit hard times, like, you know, for example, last year, right? So another thing is pricing correctly and for every business is different and that's the the hard thing to calculate for everybody, right? My operations, it might be more or less in, let's say your operation, right? But you have to sit down and look at your numbers, right? You're working hard and your employees are working hard you probably have back problems, you have medical needs, right? You have a family, you have kids, you have a wife, or maybe you're single, right? But you want to build something for the future. But you, if you want to do that, you have to price accordingly and you have to price um, not average like everybody else. You have to at least try to maximize your profits. And that's what business is. At the end of the day, business, it's fuel, it's air that it breathes, it's profit. It's that's that's really what it comes down to, and you as a the employer, you have to make sure your um, your employees are taken care for, and by that is by make sure you price correctly, and that might take some time to figure out, right? But if you sit down or even time it, maybe when you go to do a lawn, you time how long it takes when you turn off your truck, you put the gate down, you run the mower, the weed eater. If you have a helper, how long does it take you to finish? 20 minutes, maybe 15, maybe an hour, maybe 40 minutes, whatever it is, are you pricing correctly? Are you having 20 per, 25%, 20% a, a margin left over? Or depending on your operation, obviously. Um, I would say that's one of like the most things you have to figure out if you wanna move up and make more money in this industry. Another thing is um, investing and in buying good equipment. Now, when I first started, I would buy anything from Lowe's or Home Depot or anything I could get my hands on. And you know what? That I had to do that, right? Because I didn't have enough money to start. I had to get whatever I had to do and, and, and do what I had to do to make it work, right? But now, a little bit, fast forward a little bit, now I'm in a different place, right? What equipment can I use to make my my, my employees, um, to for them to have a better a better day? Um, not get too tired and be less stressed if something breaks down or, or they can't fix something like on you know while they're on the job site. What can I do to make uh, their life a little bit easier, right? Because it's hot. It's sometimes it's it's the humidity is so hot. You know you're tired and you want to make their their lives a little bit easier, right? And even if you're on your own mowing, right? You want to make your life easier, right? That's why we're buying equipment, right? To make our life in this process easier, right? From start to finish, right? So invest whatever, some percentage of your capital to providing that, right? Providing a little bit easier, providing a, a better better equipment for them to use in your locker operations, so. And also let's, let's be real, equipment that is made for out here for commercial use, um, it lasts way more than a residential mower, a residential weed eater, or a trimmer, whatever. It lasts a little bit more, so I would honestly just invest in that. Whenever you can, we have the money saved, buy a better hedge trimmer, buy a better mower, whatever you need, I would just buy, because at the end of the day, it will help you um, cut, it will help you cut your time, and two, as well, it will probably last way, way, way longer than a residential mower. Last but not least, and this is probably a well-known thing, is the product, right? At the end of the day, what's the service you provide, is it just like how you would leave it, right? as the owner are your employees doing the same thing when when they perform that service and you know they're done with all the mowing cutting and blowing when they look back at that property is it just how you would leave it as the owner and that's where also systems come in place and training your employees to leave it 
just the way you would leave it, right? To take care of every line like if it was their own. Yeah, I think that's one of the most important things that you can have in your business is your product, right? Make sure your product is always up to standards in your standards as the owner and make sure your employees are following that as well. Now, I, I'm gonna make a video on how I create like systems and processes on how to train employees as well as office staff and everything else, right? And also even us as owners, right? Our mindset, what are we doing to always not feel burnt out, right? Everything is sacrifice, everything is hard, but what are we doing to us to, so we can be clear thinking whenever we do have to make decisions or we wanna take the company to the next level, what are we doing for our own like spiritual, physical, and mental health? And I will talk, to about, I will talk about that in the next video, um, but for now, if you like this video, make sure you thumbs up it. If you have any comments or maybe I missed something in your business that you're doing uh, to make six figures or any amount of money, uh, make sure you comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.